This method in modding Beat Saber does not require a computer, but it requires an Android phone. The Android phone is needed to install a third-party file manager on your Quest. This is what makes it possible for you to do the modding steps from inside the Quest. There are some things you might want to know before proceeding. If you happen to mess up in the modding process, don't worry because you can always go back to the original version of Beat Saber at no cost. The game and your music backs are bound to your account, so it won't cost you anything if you decide to reinstall. You can still play every song you bought from the Oculus Store if they are available on the version that you modded. If being unable to play the latest music backs bothers you, there is a quick and easy way to switch between the modded and unmodded versions of Beat Saber without having to redownload the game or having to redo the modding process every time you want to switch. Modding Beat Saber disables its online features, so no leaderboards and no multiplayer. This is only for Beat Saber, it's not going to affect your other games. But like I mentioned earlier, there's a way to switch between the modded and unmodded version. There are also mods that let you play custom songs in multiplayer in a private server, but you have to check if it's available on your modded version. If you have other concerns about Beat Saber modding, please join the Beat Saber modding group Discord server. You need a file manager. A tutorial is linked in the description. For BMBF, go to this webpage and download the latest APK. BMBF is a tool you need to mod Beat Saber, so this is required. Quest App Version Switcher is optional but recommended. It's the backup tool that lets you switch easily between versions. The download notifications show inaccurate download progress. Go to the browser's menu by clicking the three dots on the upper right corner and go to Downloads. This is where you'll see the real download progress. It might continue to spam you with notifications even after the download is complete. To fix this, turn off and turn on the screen using the power button. In your apps, click the drop-down menu on the right and scroll down to Unknown Sources. Open the file manager and grant all the requested permissions. Install BMBF and Quest App Version Switcher located in the Downloads folder. Your first attempt to install an app with a file manager will be interrupted by a settings pop-up. Allow permissions and try again. Now that Quest App Version Switcher is installed, you can open it from unknown sources. This could take a while to load, but it's normal. Reopen the app if nothing happens when you click Allow. In the Tools and Options tab, click the Change App button to select the app you want to create a backup of. For Beat Saber, select com.beatgames.beatsaber. If nothing happens when you click it, Reopen Quest App Version Switcher and try again. Sometimes it could take up to 3 tries, but reopening always works if it doesn't respond to clicks. Once selected, you will see it in the upper left corner of the window. Go to the Backups tab and enter the name for your backup. If you just want your score saved but not the entire game, click Only Backup App Data. But if you want to be able to switch between versions after modding, Leave it unchecked and click Create Backup. There should be no existing installation of Beat Saber in secondary accounts, but you can install it again after modding. If car mods are not available on your installed version, you need a downgraded version of Beat Saber. Check your current version on your right footprint in Beat Saber. To check if car mods are available on your version, tap on the link in the description to go to this webpage. Scroll down till you see the Download Latest Moddable Version button. If the version number in the button matches with your version, you don't need to downgrade because car mods are available on your version. But if your version is higher, you'll have to downgrade first. Uninstall Beat Saber, this time from the main account. Using your Quest browser, Log into Oculus with your Facebook account that is linked to your Quest and owns a legal copy of Beat Saber. Go to this website and search for Beat Saber.
Click Details for Quest 1 and 2 and download the latest moddable version found at the bottom part of the page. If you are looking for another version so you can use mods that are not yet available on the latest moddable version, just click the Versions tab below. You are downloading through this website, but the download is coming from the Oculus servers, that is why you had to log in to Oculus first. Oculus checks if the user owns a legal copy of the app, and if you don't, you won't be able to download any version. Next, install the moddable version using your file manager. Open the downgraded Beat Saber and fail one game on solo mode. You can finish it if you want, we just need to let Beat Saber create the needed folders. On the downgraded version, you will often be given the option to update. Always choose Update Later if you want to mod Beat Saber and keep it modded. You have to stay in this version unless car mods are updated to work with the latest version. Open BMBF from unknown sources. This part is easy, just read the on-screen instructions. The red X at the bottom right corner shows the status of the connection, so BMBF is currently not connected even though my headset is connected to the internet. This usually happens after using Quest app version switcher. Not a problem though, restarting your headset can easily fix it. You might need to press the trigger if it stays on the white screen for too long. Just follow the on-screen instructions for the BMBF setup. You might get something like this after modding, just click wait. On the modded version, you will often get a piracy warning. This is normal for modded apps, just don't click restore. Doing so will bring back the original version. Click done, then sync to Beat Saber to install the car mods. This is the playlist tab and this is where you can organize your downloaded songs. Go to the Browsers tab to start downloading songs. There's a lot of songs you can choose from, so if you're looking for a specific song, just use the search bar. You can also go to Find Maps in the menu to sort and filter the results. I'm sure you'll figure out the rest. To download a song, just click the arrow down button. The number of your queue downloads will appear next to the cloud icon. It doesn't allow duplicates, so the download will fail if you try to download a song file you already have. If most or all downloads fail, there might be a server problem, so just try again later. You don't have to download everything right now. You can always come back for more or use the song downloader in-game. Click Get Mods for Mods. Mods are still being updated, so only the car mods are showing at the moment. But you can find more in the Beat Saber modding group Discord. I suggest enlarging the window first because it's going to be hard to see the Discord chat area in the default size. So go back to Get Mods and click the Discord link on the upper right corner. In the Beat Saber modding group Discord, find the Quest Mods channel for the available mods for the current version. You will also see Quest Mods channel with the version number if the current Beat Saber isn't moddable. 
There's a short description for each mod and also the download link. I recommend installing one mod at a time and check if Beat Saber crashes. A mod in itself may not cause the crash, but crashing is a possibility if used in combination with other mods. This doesn't mean you can't have multiple mods, you can, it's just that some mods can't work together. After downloading, click Sync to Beat Saber. To those of you who downgraded to use mods that are not yet available on the current version, click Choose Website on the upper right corner and click URL. Enter this address and make sure that B and S in Beat Saber are capitalized. Select the right version and scroll down for the mods. Installed mods will appear in the Mods tab. To delete a mod, just click the trash icon above the slider. Then sync to Beat Saber. Like I mentioned earlier, this is normal for modded apps, but never click Restore unless you want the original version back. Choose Open App. On the right, you can see Beat Saber modding news. On the left is the song downloader. It also has a search and filter function for your convenience. You may see songs here that are not playable like this one. It means that it's missing a required mod. Click the question mark right above the heart icon to see the missing mod. You can download the missing mods from the Get Mods section in BMBF if they are available in this version. Playable songs that show a question mark have suggested mods. They are playable, but they might look better with the suggested mods installed. In order to switch between versions, you need a backup of each version, the modded and unmodded. We already did the unmodded in step 3, so let's do the modded. I recommend doing this after you've changed all the settings to your preference so you don't have to do it again when you switch to this version. So these are your backups. Select the backup and click Restore to switch versions. And that is how you switch to another version. If you want to save the new scores you made after switching, create a new backup and delete the old one to save space.